welcome to another spirit filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well. I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. Space. Am I right on that? What is the difference between a great duplex and a mansion, as you call it? Space. What you can do in a one room, what you cannot do in a one room, you are able to do it in a duplex. Am I right on that? Now, just respectfully speaking, if you have one room, everything is there. The kitchen is there. The whatever is there. Are we together? Smallness has the characteristic effect of constraint. It does not give you the opportunity to be efficient. Are we together now? So imagine that you move from one room to a two bedroom. Now you can convert one maybe to be a library, one to be a guest room. Have you seen people now, respectfully speaking, have you seen for instance, say a couple, a husband and a wife, and maybe two children and all they have is one room you've seen what happens in the night the father is constrained maybe he even has to sleep on a chair for the wife and maybe the children and maybe the little baby you see that now did you not read in your bible that solomon was judging a case of two prostitutes where because of the constraint of space they slept on their visions and one killed they killed their children because of lack of space let me tell you, enlargement is a blessing. What 10,000 cannot do, 1 million can do. Are we together now? Yes. Oh, my man needs to be treated and the bill is 200,000. And that innocent woman is about to die because all you have is 10,000. But when God enlarges you, you have more space. You can even be a blessing. What this level of anointing can do, cannot do, this level of anointing can do. Are we together now? Yes. This level of anointing can only lead you to pastor 50 members. Not to insult, but that is what it can do. It cannot bring you a global ministry this way. No. No. You cannot put the tire of a tricycle on a tractor or a, a bulldozer or a lorry. Can that work? But they are all tires. So when you bring that small tire, how many of you have seen spare tires of cars that look very small? Because you were not supposed to drive with it for a long time. It's only sufficient to take you to the mechanic. You see some of these giant cars and they come with enlarged tires. And sometimes when smaller cars are struggling because of the pothole, those cars can come and pass as if they're, they're not even aware that's what enlargement does. When you are limited, when you are constrained, five children, you are living on 50,000. It's not a blessing, oh. Let me tell you the truth. Not in our world today. You are anointed, you pray, you have to pray for one week for headache to go. You can't have a ministry that is flourishing that way. I told you, people don't follow men, they follow results. When you are a man that commands that result, it will look like they are following you. But what they really follow are results. It takes a level of dedication and loyalty and training by God for people to look beyond results and now start following men. Enlarge my coast. Enlarge my... I've prayed this prayer many times. This ministry did not start like this. And this ministry will not remain like this because that grace for enlargement is there. So why is it that your life is remaining that way? One more time, I want you to refuse. Look at every area of your life that has refused to grow and declare, let that anointing for enlargement rest upon it. Open your mouth and pray one last time. Father, enlarge me by the spirit of the living God. Enlarge me by the spirit of the living God. For the sake of your glory, for the excellency of your name. Please pray.
Hallelujah. Number three, let your hand be with me. Hallelujah. Let your hand be with me. Let your hand be with me. You are going to pray. This is what is responsible for advancement. This is what is responsible for speed. When the hand of the Lord comes upon men, they refuse to stay, not just at that level, but even in that location. It is God that moves men. When you find stagnancy, what you need is the hand of God. The hand of God moves men. The Bible says it was the Lord that caused Moses to advance. Say, Father. One more time. Say, Father. In the name of Jesus. By your hand. Advance me by your hand. Advance my destiny. Open your mouth and begin to pray. By your hand. By your hand. By your hand. Advance me in ministry. By your hand. Advance me in every area of life. Someone is praying. Advance me. Advance me by your spirit. Hallelujah. 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 And with the last prayer point. It will now lead me to begin to minister as fast as we can. Fire is going to begin to fall in this place now. Give us the last prayer point. Keep me from evil. Listen. The psalmist said, He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the almighty is that true verse 2 says give us verse 2 i will say of the lord he is my refuge and my fortress my god in him will i trust verse 3 surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler from the noisome pestilence verse 4 he shall cover thee with his feather and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be. And thy buckler. Verse 5. It says thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night. Nor the arrow that flyeth by day. Verse 6. Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness. Nor the destruction that wasted at noonday. 7. A thousand shall fall by thy side. And ten thousand by thy right side but it shall not come nigh thee. Last verse. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Listen. Do you know what it means for God to keep you? To keep you means, Lord, I will not die before my time. Amen. Hallelujah. I was listening to a video this morning by late Archbishop Benson Idahosa, and he was teaching somewhere in the States and he was just sharing how that when God gave him an instruction in Benin then and he went and he was praying and praying and God gave him an instruction for seven days to go out every night at the roundabout alone and begin to pray and declare and say Benin belongs to Jesus. And he said he prayed in the spirit of fear came. What if you would die? He said in one of the days when you got there he saw parts of animals that were caught and on them his name was written there can I tell you saying I do not trouble anybody nobody would trouble me is a joke all it takes to be a victim of evil is to be born the moment you find yourself here you have to understand the warfare dimension of life are we together now I'm saying this because many of you do not know you are a man of God here I want you to listen daily daily there are demons and spirits it's only when we go to heaven that i will know how many shrines how many pots how many sacrifices carry my name daily 
but they will continue to boil it as dinner, lunch, supper. It will, it will have no effect. Not because, listen, not because we are powerful on our own. We have found from scripture that there is immunity in that name, that there is immunity in that blood. Are you ready to pray now? Say, Father, by the blood of Jesus, the blood of the eternal covenant, every covenant tying me to failure to death to weakness to defeat right now by the blood let it be broken open your mouth and pray every covenant every covenant tying me to death, witchcraft, defeat, yokes, ordinances. No matter how long be broken. No matter how long be broken. No matter how long be broken. Every covenant that says people will not rise that says people will not shine hallelujah hallelujah oh be lifted Above all other gods, we lay our crown and worship you. Oh, be lifted above all other gods, we lay our crown. Alabarado. very sensitive listen there was a time in my life I have met angels I have encountered demon spirits by the privilege of God's grace I have encountered Jesus the living Christ the realm of the spirit is not an unfamiliar path I know a bit about how spiritual things work the first time I would encounter a demon spirit I was praying in the night somewhere in Zaria and there was a generator close to that place and I was praying and going close to that place and the next thing I moved here and there is a solid being standing this is not vision and the only thing he said was get back and when he said that I looked and I spontaneously I just blasted in tongues and like you are seeing this and you don't see it again and I said what is this the next time I would have this I was praying I think I was in a period of fasting and praying or so and then my room the ceiling just disappeared and then I'm seeing this giant creature it looks like a dinosaur very mighty the eyes will be like this the size of one man's head you can imagine my head being the eye so imagine how the head will be and it had a long tail but that tail had its own life that means you could detach the tail from the being and it will still be alive red eyes and it was looking at me and it says so you think 
you will how did what I can't even remember what so you think you would bring God's people into abundance I remember and I said ah so this is the spirit that sits upon men's destinies they don't know they think it's joblessness they think it's just family conflict they don't know that these are wicked spirits by reason of the apostolic and the prophetic call I have been exposed to visions I have encountered spirits some of the songs that you hear us sing I didn't write them these were songs that I heard from the realm of the spirit and I brought it down and wrote it so when you see me minister to people I'm not ministering from a standpoint of ignorance there are real spirits sitting on the destinies of men and they may not know ladies and gentlemen whoever told the woman who was bound for 18 years that there was an actual spirit holding her like that this woman kept going hoping that things would change if spirits can bind men can they bind businesses if spirits can they bind destinies and Jesus looks at the woman and says woman thou art loose from your infirmity she did not even know what happened suddenly a spirit that has been comfortable for 18 years that woman would have remained like that some of you have had some conditions around your life um, it's like that I just feel dizzy sometimes I grew up like that you are like that woman that has been bound but Jesus came and he said no matter how long it has been the longest condition we know that a man has been in in the Bible was 38 years we don't know how long it took Job the Bible does not record time but at least we know that the longest recorded time where a man stayed in his tragedy was 38 years then there was 12 years but when Jesus came and said woman thou art loosed from your infirmity and then he laid hands and took that woman up and when the other people started talking stupid talk he said ought not this woman being a daughter of Abraham whom Satan has bound lo all these years that means in Satan's economy time does not matter don't say after 10 years I will be free you will never be free because of the passage of time you will be free by the forceful manifestation of the power the name and the blood so listen I'm saying that so that as I begin to minister now will be very fast that every condition you know long-standing conditions don't tolerate it and say it's been there this bad luck has followed me since I was five years now I'm 50 years it's like that anytime people want to do things make sure it gives way this night the man was sitting at Bethesda John 5 the Bible says something happened there that every time an angel will come and stare the waters but the man had no one to help him and then Jesus comes to him the Bible says he was there for 38 years calls him an impotent man did his father not give him a name what was his name there are many of you your condition has swallowed your name that people only either that guy that family that has bad luck as if they don't have a name that woman whose children are all miserable that one who's that that church that does not grow the impotent man and Jesus said no this is not how it works you notice all these sick people the Bible did not seem to care about their names because there's something about demonic oppression it it does not just ruin your life it ruins your name notice the woman with the issue of blood no name the man at blind Bartimaeus, no name the man at the pool no name because every time the devil attacks among the many things he's looking for is your name your honor is in your name your reputation is in your name I'm saying this because I want to minister to people whose names have been diminishing you may not have something wrong with your life but your condition has swallowed up your name honor that God has given your family is about going down because it does not look it looks like there are conditions that have stained your name hallelujah every time you see Kings rise the Bible will always call their name 
even if they were given other names. But when you find people plagued with conditions, you hardly hear their names. The woman with the issue of blood, the man born blind, the man at the pool, blind Bartimaeus, the man who was sitting at gate beautiful. Look at that. Oppression among the many things it seeks to take away from you is your name. Because you see, part of the blessing that God gave Abraham in Genesis 12 is a great name. I will bless you and I will make your name great. If you are great alone, your children cannot be great because there's nothing for them to inherit. When you go, you go with your greatness. But when your name is great, anybody who comes under that name can continue being great. Today we mention names. When you talk about names of, you know, American presidents, great people today, they are long gone, you see, but their names. So when Satan wants to destroy you, he does something to your name. Are you ready to pray? So when you see me minister deliverance, it's not just about people shouting and coming out and rolling under the anointing. No, 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 no. Deliverance has nothing to do with shouting and rolling. It's about taking authority. Are we together now? That which is, is fighting all of these things, that, as I mentioned in your life, they clear out of the way, fighting your ministry, your health, your life, and all of a sudden you will find out that after deliverance, the Bible says there shall be holiness and the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession. Deliverance happens upon Mount Zion. That is the proper place for deliverance. I'm, I'm ready to pray now. You will not do anything yet. Just, just listen to me. You see, the thing with the anointing is that you have to wait on God. You don't assume. This is what the Lord is speaking to my ears. And he's telling me now that as in this silence, that the spirit of God, there are people and destinies that he wants to uproot things. And the moment that happens, the power of God is going to start moving. Please, I want you to bring those people here. You will not need to shout. I'm the one who will just make a statement and uprooting. I'm seeing like a weed. You know how a farmer is removing weed. This is what I'm saying. Father, you have spoken and in the name of Jesus, I declare that everyone under the sound of my voice, please, when you just bring those people out, ushers or all those who need to help, help them, let's make it very fast so that we'll finish on time. In the name of Jesus Christ, everyone who has had a planting in their life or their family that needs to be uprooted. My God, I'm seeing fire in this place. In the name of Jesus, right now, let it be uprooted. Bring them out. Ah. Whether you're an usher or not, please help them. If anyone is under the anointing close to you, just bring them out so that we'll save time. Bring them out. This is an instruction that the Holy Ghost gave. You will never stand, I'm telling you, if, this, if, there, is, if there is something to be uprooted, there is an energy, a, a force from heaven. Please bring them. men and women my Bible says every tree that has not been planted by God that tree will be uprooted that's what God is doing right now uprooting by the Spirit of God uprooting by the Spirit of God you will marvel at the testimonies that follow uprooting things look at the wonder walking power of Jesus my beloved is the most beautiful among thousands and thousands. My beloved is the most beautiful among thousands. Bring them out. 
Hallelujah. Now, something mysterious is going to happen here now. There are people, watch this. I just saw fire through the congregation. Please help them. There are people who will start running. This is not speed. This is, this is a deliverance. But they will start running. Hold them and bring them to the front. This is not speed. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the ministry of fire that everyone under any captivity in the name of Jesus Christ by this sign that God has given may the Lord himself begin to bring them out now bring them out now please help the ushers heba shaba sadavaleketosh Oppression comes to an end by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me talk to those outside. Not the other overflows, just outside. Those outside, I want you to lift your hands. I want to pray for you. The Lord is showing me something. I want to pray for those outside right now. Lift your hands. At the count of three, those outside, I want you to shout the name Jesus. And as you shout that name Jesus, the hand of the Lord is going to come on a few people and there will be massive deliverance. Just the overflow outside. As I count three, I want you to shout Jesus. One, two, three, shout Jesus. I want you to carry those outside and bring them to the front by the spirit of the living God. God is doing a very marvelous work in their lives. Now, let me pray for everyone. Anyone here under the plague of witchcraft? Yokes of ancestry. You're about to shout the name Jesus. My God, I'm seeing fire falling already. Yokes of ancestry at the count of three shout that name Jesus one two three shout Jesus be released now be released now be released now be released now business is under siege families under siege destiny is under siege bring them out by the power of the Holy Ghost. Bring them out. Hallelujah. The Lord wants me to speak to the men. There are spirits that have tied men in many families so that they will not rise. It's like the men become the women and the women are the men. They have to depend on the women to feed. I'm seeing at least eight people with this case. Right now the fire of God is coming on all those men. Inside, outside, everywhere. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. Are you ready now? One, two, three, shout Jesus. Every man be delivered now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Every altar tying down men, tying down destinies. Give way now. Give way now. Give way now.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm hearing a name victory. 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 We don't have all the time. Um, my, my intention is for us to finish on time. So I'm not going to be doing too much of um, but I'm hearing the name victory. Wherever that press, who is victory? Your name is victory. I want to pray for you. God has remembered your family. I release grace upon you now by the power of the Holy Ghost. God has remembered your family in the name of Jesus Christ. Who is Abdullahi? I'm hearing a name. This, this is, I don't know if it's your name, your son name, but I'm hearing the name Abdullahi. Abdullahi, you would think that this is supposed to be another name. Abdullahi, I just heard that name. I don't know where that person is, but in the name of Jesus Christ, wherever you are, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, the mantle that has been looking for you, that is searching for your head, in Jesus' name, let it rest on you now. <laughs> Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, Rachel, I'm hearing the name Rachel. Please make sure you are organized. Don't, don't, don't cause confusion. Once, if I call you, if it's not your name, you can stand anywhere there. I, I'm going to pray for those in front. Rachel, who is Rachel? There is a family that God is delivering. Somebody is going to shout right now. Um, I'm, seeing, I'm seeing a spirit because I'm seeing that this week that is coming, I'm seeing written obituary and there is a family. I'm not a prophet of doom. God sends, redeems. There is somebody right now, that spirit, in the name of Jesus. I know you by name and I declare, let that family go now. 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 The family of Rachel. Let that family go now. Let that family go now. Your father is a police officer. Your father is a police officer. Where is he? Where? Huh? Are you from the east? Yes, sir. Enugu? Yes, sir. Where is he? It's in Enugu. This is what God is revealing to me. Listen to me. I'm not a prophet of doom, but I'm going to pray for you because I'm seeing something happening and they are going to fight some people, you know, people like are fighting and I'm seeing something that is not good. But in the name, I don't know you, oh my, my friend. And I'm not, you believe what I'm telling you? Lift your hands. Let me pray for you. Father, you reveal to redeem. We, we are standing here, but in the name of Jesus, we pray that anything that wants to destroy, and I use him as a point of contact because what God says to one, he says to all. Anyone here, you have your loved ones, either in the police, DSS, military, air force, I declare supernatural preservation. Supernatural preservation. They shall not die. They shall not die in the name of Jesus Christ. My friend, may the Lord preserve your father in the name of Jesus. This lady kneeling down, lifting her hands. I'm seeing you wearing a police cap. Stand up. Who is it you or who? Is there anybody around your life? I'm going to pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Anything that will bring you to have any kind of demonic trouble that you need to go to the police station right now. I'm seeing fire from your feet to your head. I command it to give way now. Because I'm seeing a police cap on her head and I'm wondering what this is for. There's someone in the worship team. I just saw light. I don't know who that person is. The fire of God. The Lord is saying enough is enough. Enough is enough. This, this mystery of evil that has sat on your family is coming to an end. We declare it an end in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There is a mother here. One of your prayer requests is for your daughter 
who has not given birth. Now, I'm not saying if you are trusting God. This is a mother who came and she's trusting for her daughter. I don't know who that person is, but in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, you have come, you have stood in for your daughter by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Let your daughter return with her children rejoicing. Now, all those in front here, I want to rebuke these wicked spirits by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Every legal access Satan has over your life, I declare it is broken now. And Satan, I declare as one sent by God, release your destinies now. Out of them now, in the name of Jesus, out of their destinies, out of their lives, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is healing someone. You have a very interesting condition. You can snore from, like if you are lying down there, somebody who is a long distance from your place can hear you snore. Many people have told you this thing. And you felt very, I, I don't know why God is showing me this, but it's a condition that God wants me to pray for you for, so that one day you don't lie down and then don't, don't just wake up. This is a serious medical condition. Is there someone like that? The Lord is ministering that to me. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. I want to pray for that person. And then, number two, very quickly, Madam, thank you for your honesty. Thank you, let's celebrate her. Takes a lot of courage. Please stand up, madam. I want to pray for you. The devil is a liar. How long has this been? It's a long time. Very long time. Yes, sir. My friend, I want to pray for you. I don't know if there's a medical condition for it. I'm, I presume there might be. But my job is to do everything God has asked me to do. So I'm going to pray for you. The devil is a liar. That satanic thing must leave. Listen, to the silliest of things, huh? When you see God bring a word like this, it's because someone's life depends on it. And for all of you who are here, thank you for, this is a family of faith. You see, in the name of Jesus Christ, I want to pray for you. Father, just, can you just make contact with your, your neck just as a point of contact? Father, you reveal to redeem. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands now. Let that demonic thing go now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let it leave, never to return again. Something is leaving this guy, this guy on white. I'm seeing something like a rope on your neck. Out of him now, in the name of Jesus Christ. I bring you life, I bring you healing. That choking feeling is not an ordinary snore, like you are just snoring because you did not bend well. This is a satanic thing. And you don't pray for them, they will go to bed one night and that's how it will be over for them. But thanks be to God, which causes us always to triumph. In the name of Jesus, let it be over now. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Now, I don't want you to feel embarrassed. There are two cases that I want to pray for and then I pray for healing. The Lord is ministering this to me and I don't want you to feel bad. There are people, um, if, if you are to come out here, you have just two minutes to come out very quickly. Any and all kinds of satanic addictions, addictions that want to kill you, any kind of addiction whatsoever that has overwhelmed you and God has been speaking to you and you are saying, Apostle, I want to break free from this. I want to give you two minutes. Come and stand before the Lord right now. While they are doing that, let's begin to pray. Don't sit back there when you know that God wants to bring you victory. Once and for all. Drunkenness, pornography, masturbation, every kind of addiction. Some of you may be on some things that you take to be high. Addiction, even stealing can be an addiction. There are people who steal things they should not steal. Biro, paper, because of that you go to the police station. It's not worth it, so it's a spirit. Come. Once the space is full, just stand where you are. In fact, you can stand there for now. You can, you can imagine this. If this is all that we do today, it was worth it. 
Great is your mercy towards me. Your loving kindness towards me. Your tender I see day after day. Let me teach you a principle. Look up. Everything God gave man, God gave man control over. The moment you cannot control it again, a spirit has hijacked it. Are we together now? Now, we're asking these our precious people to come and stand. We're not, listen, I don't want you to feel ashamed for whatever reason. No, you are standing before Jesus. This is the house of God. Addiction has nothing to do with whether you are good or bad. Some of the people standing here are some of the nicest people you can imagine. I have prayed for people who will steal anything. Even when you are holding hands, praying, they will still carry something. It's a spirit. There are responsible people who are held bound. Some of these addictions you see have been transferred. And, and, and let me tell you this. God must raise people with this anointing and send them to the police force, the correctional centers, because there are people, no matter how long they stay there, what will really set them free is the power of God. So I celebrate all of you for summoning the courage to come. That's what Jabez did. He had to open up himself and say, Lord, hallelujah. Oh, you've been stealing, you've been stealing. You've been this and that. This is a lady that I'm seeing. There is nothing you cannot steal. And you know, I've told you, this thing works like word of knowledge. You can hide your money under the carpet. They will stand and look, look, and just go under the carpet and pick it. Parents, hear me. Some of this supposed stubbornness of children, is not like, it's, the, it's a demon. Do you know that there are spirits that make children stubborn? The moment you say go left, that spirit will not let them rest till they go right. I want to pray for you. This is my work. Oh. That demon, that satanic devil must leave you now. Our time is gone, but I'm going to pray for you. Father, these ones have come before you, the God of mercy and the God of all grace. Many of them have been tied down by all kinds of things. But the Bible says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. All kinds of addictions right now. Satan, I speak to every spirit that has been assigned to hold you down. Some of them are spirits of inheritance. Some of them all kinds of diabolic things. At the count of three, I declare you must let them go now. Now at the count of three, I'm going to release the power of God on you and that devil will live and live forever. Satan, take your hands of God's people at the count of three. One, two, three, out of their lives now. Be free, be free, be free, be free. I break the power of addiction. I break the power of addiction. Be free in the name of Jesus Christ out of their lives now make sure you are praying for them those who are the congregation in the name of Jesus be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now listen many of you will come and stand here and testify and you will say finally God has given you freedom once and for all in the name of Jesus Christ Please return back to your seat rejoicing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now, lay your hands. Everyone who is trusting God for a healing miracle, very quickly, I want you to lay your hands. Lay your hands there. And let's, let's clear the way for those who are returning back so that they return back very quickly. 
You are more than what people say. You are more than what people say. You are bigger than what people say. You are bigger than what people say. Jehovah, you are good. You are kind. You are more than what people say. Jehovah, you are good. You are kind. You are more than what people say. Lay your hands and believe Jesus for a miracle right now. Please don't go back the way you came. Place your hand there. I want to pray for you. You've heard the testimonies of people by the power of the Holy Ghost. All kinds of satanic things. I'm about to pray for you right now. I'm seeing a lady who is coughing out something in a vision. I mean, just like somebody just coughing. I don't know what that is, but in the name of Jesus, already I pray for that person. That satanic planting in your body. Right now I declare that it comes out now. Please lay your hands. I want to pray for you. You are good. You are kind. You are more than what people see. Father, you have granted us the grace to see the sick healed. Some of you are lifting up the pictures, lifting up your phones. I see people who are connecting. There are many, many, many hospitals. Did you know it's so humbling to know the amount of clinics, hospitals that connect to the miracle services and the tremendous testimonies that have come out. And for those of you who are connecting right now in any hospital, you are connecting for a patient, probably a patient that is already dying, cancer, any demonic thing. Some of you are standing in for your loved ones. We may not have the time to take testimonies tonight. But in the name of Jesus, I want you to believe. He gave us this anointing and it's to be an extension of his healing power to the nations. As I pray, I want you to believe by faith and shout a loud believing amen as I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is healing a breast lump right now. The power of God is touching a lady. I'm seeing a healing. Help her, please. The Lord is healing a breast lump. That devil is living right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is healing an eye condition. I'm seeing the power of God touch someone. Your eyes be healed now. I'm seeing someone you are not able you are not able to go to the toilet easily I don't know what medical condition that is this has affected you right now you even need to go and see a doctor this is not just pile is it's like you're not able to stool properly and it's a very demonic situation whether you are here or following online let the healing power of Jesus touch you right now There's someone, you have what we call nose bleeding. You can stand in the sun and blood just begins to come out of your nose. In the name of Jesus, I don't know who that person is, but the power of God is touching you now. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm seeing someone with a very, you are a man. You go to ease yourself and you're easing out blood. This is what I'm seeing. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the mercy of God, may the power of God touch you now. Every eye condition be healed now. Every deaf ear in the name of Jesus, I declare that you are open this moment. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone suffering from any bone condition, I decree and declare by the power of the Lord Jesus, let your limbs find strength now. Let your limbs find strength now. There's someone you slept on this side, the left side of your, your shoulder, and you've been having excruciating pain. The power of God is touching you right now. 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ the Lord is showing me two people your molars if I don't pray for you they will have to extract it because I'm seeing holes already and it's bringing you severe pain around your mouth but by the power of the Holy Spirit let there be a miracle for you now I need to pray for someone I'm seeing a family mourning and I'm seeing someone just passing to glory and this is as a result of cancer father in the name of Jesus Christ because you have revealed this by your mercy and by your grace avert death over this family avert death over this family let me pray for everyone here and those connecting online that has any trace of cancer by this unction in the name of Jesus let cancer die let cancer die let cancer die let cancer die the Lord is showing me someone you have a condition I think I need to go and read this medical book so that I know the name of these things you have a condition where your blood cells are fighting themselves this is what I'm seeing fighting themselves like a condition where your body fights itself not like there's necessarily an external some it fights itself i don't know who that person is but in the name of jesus that tragedy comes to an end now there's someone you are not overweight yet you lose energy the, you can't climb the stair and just the moment you do any work that seems to exhaust you a bit you start breathing there's something wrong with your heart you are not even aware because from what I'm seeing oxygen is not pumping to your body very well and this is deteriorating it's like you have a weak heart in the name of Jesus I don't know who that person is may my God give you a brand new heart now every kidney condition be healed now Every liver problem be healed now. Amen. Digestive problems be healed now. Amen. And hear me, anyone under the sound of my voice who has not been able to carry their baby in the name of Jesus Christ, I don't care what is wrong with your body, let it be cleansed and perfected now. Amen. Cleansed and perfected now. Amen. Cleansed and perfected now. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ there's someone something happened to your voice right now you speak you just have to hush you can't speak very loud and clear and you know it looks like you have to hush that's the only way to speak I don't know who that person is but in the name of Jesus let the healing power of Jesus touch you now in the name of Jesus there is a lady God is showing me um, you have a medical condition that will not allow you give birth and the doctor has discussed it with you there is a name he has given you the Lord is saying I should pray for you and release you from this in the name of Jesus whoever that person is be released now Amen. hallelujah someone is beginning to have a swollen foot you do not even know but your legs are beginning to swell. I'm not a doctor, but I'm hearing in my spirit that this is a problem with your liver. I have to pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ, by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Be healed now. Be healed now. Now, whether I mention your case or not, from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, be healed now. In fact, God is, God is healing a woman. I'm seeing a woman with excruciating pain around her back here. In Jesus' name, the power of God is touching you now. The power of God is touching you now. Now, there's someone you are not on this ground, but I need to pray for you. Someone went to give you an injection. And I don't know if it, maybe it's like they made a mistake. This is two weeks now. You have been limping. 
you have been limping if i don't pray for you i'm seeing that that condition is going to remain like that because something has been touched that should not have been touched but by the mercies of god i decree and declare the god who is the creator of the ends of the earth may he bring perfection to your body in the name of jesus koinonia be healed those following online be healed all the overflows be healed all the hospitals following be healed in the name of jesus neck problems be healed blood problems be healed organ problems be healed in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus now here's what i would want you to do we honestly may not have the time miracle services require extended periods and we're constrained by time everybody be praying in the spirit now while you submit your prayer requests please pray in the spirit and begin to submit your prayer request here's the time where everyone submits their prayer request if you're yet to write we'll give you a minute or two very quickly ushers please move around and let's let's be organized at this what i want you to do is you can pass it to the last person by your left or your right to ease um the the collection very quickly if you're writing write very quickly those of you who are online here is an opportunity to receive a mighty visitation you've heard of the things that god is doing is an instruction that god gave me and we've kept this for many years and the wonder working power of god out of this request are you praying in the spirit someone begin to pray thank you jesus Shalika Parosa Severende Kesebele Kosia. No shadow you will light up, mountain you will climb up, coming after me. No wall you will keep down, lie you will tear down, coming after me. No shadow you will light up, no shadow you will light up. Mountain you will climb up, coming after me. No wall you will keep down. No wall you will keep down. Fly you will tear down, coming after me. No shadow. able to do the Bible says no eye has seen no ear has heard neither has it come into the heart of man that which God has in store for them that love him but that he's revealed it to us even by his spirit bring the prayer requests and very quickly I want you to keep praying in the spirit of your, your praying maintain that atmosphere very quickly let's pray and decree and declare even over these requests I love praying on the request listen I love praying on the request because it is the most accurate communication of your desires when we prophesy we prophesy in part and then we are constrained by time when we minister we minister only according to the measure of grace that is given but then when we're praying for this this is you like Jabez lifting up your prayer my assignment is to stand in faith with you we're doing the prayer together so i like you to begin to pray you are declaring already that these egyptians i see today ushers please bring it very quickly those outside those inside let's hurry up with the requests so that we can cry before the god of heaven the one who turned the life of jabez give us that scripture on jabez again first chronicles chapter 4 from verse 9 And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren not because he was better than his brethren it was because he was the only one who cried unto God verse 10 Jabez prayed call it upon the name of the God of Israel saying oh that thou wouldest bless me indeed enlarge my coast and that thy hand might be with me and that thou wouldest keep me from evil that it may not grieve me the Bible says, and the Lord granted him that which he requested. Are we together now? 
the Lord granted him that which he requested. Philippians 4 and verse 6, the Bible says, be anxious for nothing. It says, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, it says, let your request be made known unto God. Let your request be made known unto God. Mark eleven twenty four. Jesus was speaking and he says, Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receivest them, and thou shalt have them. The Bible says, ye have not, because ye ask not. If you can pray and ask God, he's more than willing to answer. And this is the confidence that we have that when we ask anything in accordance to his will, the Bible declares that he heareth us. Hallelujah. So we're praying that the God of heaven will visit us. I know that you have prayed and you pray every miracle service, but give this a very different attitude. I want you to believe God will not look down this many prayer requests representing the cries, the tears of his people. He told Moses, he said, I have heard the cry of my people by reason of their taskmasters. He says, and I am come down. God comes down by sending men. Rise up on your feet, please. Stretch your hands towards this request. And I'd like you to begin to pray passionately by faith that these Egyptians I see today, is someone praying from the depth of your heart from the depth of your heart shapra sobaka soprende geberekus e prada shalaka toska prende geberekus Give your people testimonies by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let no request here return unanswered in the name of Jesus Christ. Let no request here return unanswered. Let no request here return unanswered in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to agree with me as I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost and this grace that God has so lavishly given that in the mighty name of Jesus, these requests are hereby turned to testimonies. These requests are hereby turned to testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. For those agreeing for salvation, God will surprise you. Those trusting God for jobs, receive your miracle jobs. Miracle marriages, miracle children, breakthroughs on every side, restoration in the name of Jesus. The Lord is showing me someone's application. You've applied for visa five times and you have been denied. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, go back again. And the Lord is granting you victory. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everything you have written here, in the name of Jesus, including the financial situation you are in debt, my God will roll it up from your neck. 
I stand upon this prayer request prophetically and I decree and declare in the name of Jesus everything that has risen upon you that has become a yoke to your neck we bring it under your feet we bring it under your feet in the name of Jesus Christ now let me speak over your life prophetic blessings are very powerful we're not wrapping up the service it's part of the service why do we speak because one of the ways you speak the blessing when God ordained from Jesus himself he blessed by saying priesthood releases people by saying are we together may his favor be upon you and a thousand generations and your family your children their children and their children may his breath go before you and behind you and beside you all around you and within you he is with you he is with you in the morning in the evening in your coming and your going in your weeping and rejoicing In the name of Jesus we're wrapping up May June is the last of the first half of the year and there are things that some of you are yet to see in your life in the name of Jesus I call upon the God who has sent us by the power that raised Christ from the dead I know that there are still a few days to the end of May my God will surprise you my God will surprise you some of you hear me some of you literally by this time tomorrow I stand by Apatatoske help that gentleman by this time tomorrow may my God surprise you number two in the name of Jesus Christ I want to pray for direction some of you are confused that is the reason why you are stagnated when direction comes speed comes to in the name of Jesus in your dreams in your visions may God give you clear directions clear directions for the next clear directions for the next season in the name of Jesus Christ There are some of you, the reason why things are not going well is simply because you have not joined the right chariot. He told Philip, join this chariot. Hallelujah. And he joined that chariot and it became the salvation of the utopian Enoch. I want to pray for you in the name of Jesus. Every strategic relationship that must be introduced to your life for your rising, for your making, between now and the end of June, may my God bring strategic people to your life. <laughs> Ministry relationships, business relationships, destiny relationships, covenant relationships, receive it in the name of Jesus. Hear me. There are many of you, the situation you are in now, you cannot advocate your liberty it will take somebody who is already in the palace you are joseph you have the ability to interpret dreams potential to be a prime minister but you don't have a chance to defend yourself in front of pharaoh but there is a wine presser somewhere i don't know who is already where in a place where they can speak for you and they are not speaking for you because they have forgotten you i place you in their mind by the spirit of the living God I place you in their mind may God cause them to speak for you in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah the Lord is asking me to rebuke the spirit of fear the Bible says God has not given us the spirit of fear 
but of love, power, and of a sound mind. It says to deliver them who through the fear of death have all their lifetime been subject to bondage. There are many of you, you are not sick, but the fear that is on you, you get up in the morning, will an accident happen? You just feel something small in your body and the devil says death. Is the voice of the enemy, I want to silence it right now. Every voice that is planting fear, in Jesus name, that voice is hereby silence forever. Silence forever. Silence forever. I prophesy over you, you shall not die. No untimely death in the name of Jesus. Please hear me. Anybody that is plotting evil against you, whether kidnap or accident or sickness, in the name of Jesus, let the earth open and swallow them. Let the earth open and swallow them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Any charm, any coven, any satanic place in the name of Jesus that carries anything that belongs to you, I declare that the power fails instantly. Let me pray for someone who is trusting God for a job. In the name of Jesus, may Ebenezer, the helper of men, surprise you. In the name of Jesus, every ministry here, every business that is dead or dying, everything in your hand that is dying, you are holding something that is dying. I give it life now. Let it come back to life now. Your business comes back to life. Your body comes back to life. Your ministry comes back to life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Whatever has taken the glory of the Lord upon your life. For Samson it was Delilah that took that glory from him. For Gideon. Something happened and he, the least person, the least in his father's house, all those idolatry brought them to a place of subjugation. Whatever has taken the glory of God upon your life, you used to be great. You used to be anointed. You used to be favored. Something happened and you just started drying up like a tree. In the name of Jesus, may the restorer restore you tonight. I say it again. May the restorer restore you tonight. May the restorer restore you tonight. Hallelujah. Please hear me. Any door that was once opened for good, and whether by mistakes on your part, by not understanding the laws that keep doors open, or by some demonic thing, that door closed. Whether doors of favor, doors of relationship, doors into the heart of great men. I stand and call upon he that has the key of David, the one that openeth and no man shut it, and shut it and no man open it. I speak to that door, a fata, be open, be open, be open. The door to the hearts of kings, be open. The door to your destiny helper's heart, be open. In the name of Jesus Christ. I've taught you that who hates you does not matter but truly who likes you matters are we together let me pray for you you are not stagnated but you are not making constructive progress it will take you one year to do something that can be done in two months that is not the will of God I want to declare acceleration for you by the power that raised Christ from the dead some of you between now and the next two months you will do things you have not done in five years i prophesy you will do things you have not done in five years in the name of jesus christ hallelujah i'm hearing the lord is saying something to me i must obey him the lord is saying there are families where there are covenants that you and your children will never marry or enjoy marriage or marry and go back to your parents' homes. The Lord is saying I should speak over you. I stand by the privilege of priesthood. Every family that the doors of marriage has been closed, let it be open now. Let it be open now. 
Let it be opened now. Let it be opened now. Let it be opened now. Let it be opened now. And in the name of Jesus, for every marriage right now that is epileptic, it looks as if it is crashing. The devil is joining the head of husband and wife and causing trouble. I declare peace to that storm. Peace to that storm. The wisdom to live in peace, let it be released upon you. In the name of Jesus. Koinonia, hear me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, when men say there is a casting down for you, let it be that there is a lifting up. Whether you are in Abuja, you are in Lagos, you are in Kano, whether you are in Nigeria, you are in UK, you are in US, regardless the location from tonight, may the blessing speak on you. May the blessing speak on you. With that blessing, let there be favor. With that blessing, let there be speed. With that blessing, let there be restoration. With that blessing, let there be restoration. I say it again, with that blessing, let there be restoration. In the name of Jesus. Two more prayers. Can I pray for your finances? For as long as I live, I will not only see to it that you are vibrant spiritually and growing in influence. I believe in economic empowerment where God empowers the right hands. Once God has a heart that loves him and that you are able to use resources to better your life and to advance the cause of the kingdom, there are no restraints to him making wealth available. Are we together? By this prayer, for some of you, what you will be receiving is wisdom. By this prayer, what you, some of you will be receiving is access to the right resources. But then in the name of Jesus, I pray. The Bible says, believe. It says, and by a prophet, the Lord God brought Israel out of Egypt, and by a prophet, they were preserved. It says, believe the Lord your God, so shall you be established. Believe his prophets, so shall you prosper. I pray for you. God who has shown many help. God who has shown many mercy. Picking men from unbelievable pits and raising them to places of honor. I call upon that God to surprise you in your finances. No more dryness in your finances. Personally, corporately, no more dryness. Hear me, if there is any one of you here who is owing, whether as a company, whether as an individual, I don't care. Owing is owing. Anybody who is owing, in the name of Jesus Christ, I place an unction upon you. Come out of that debt now. Come out of that financial situation now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Wave your hands to Jesus. Give him praise. Wave your hands to Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, let me encourage you. Make sure you take note of the things that God begins to do in your life. And make sure you are open to testify. You can always meet the media weekdays, weekends, and then when you come, we always like to hear what God has done in your life. Give me a minute or two to make an altar call. You need Jesus I want to lead you to make Jesus Lord of your life. You are in this place. There are so many thousands of people outside. All the overflows are in this place. We have waited this long. We have stretched. Please just a moment just to make that call. Let's minimize movements. Let's respect the altar call. I want to give you a chance to make Jesus Lord of your life. You are in this place and you are saying, Apostle, please give me an opportunity. I really want to make it right with Jesus. I came here desiring Jesus. I have received healings. I have received breakthroughs. But I want Jesus. I need him as a matter of life and death. You're also saying, Apostle, I need restoration in my Christian life. I'm counting one to five. Please leave your seat and be on your way here. Let's celebrate them as they come. One. Koinonia, is this the best you can do? Let's celebrate salvation. Come. Come to Jesus. Thank you. Thank you very much, young and old, male and female, come, come to Jesus, come, come. He truly will give you a new beginning. Don't say the time is gone, come. An encounter of a few moments will change your life even forever. Are you coming to Jesus? Hallelujah. Shame unto the devil, come to Jesus. 
He's given you a new beginning. Apostle, you do not know what my life has been about. Uh, there's almost nothing to write home about. Come. Jesus is able to give you a new beginning. Even by the Spirit of God. Come. Hallelujah. Now, I salute every one of you for making this noble decision. Can I request that you please raise your right hand high above your head and make this decision? Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you 